In the 60s, the youth of the world came awake. We discovered that something was wrong. Saw our leaders had lied and the system was rigged. They had played us for suckers too long. Saw the wealthy possess the most unequal share, leaving little for all of the rest. Saw that women were treated as second to men and that blacks were just freed slaves at best. Saw that business was king, it was our worshiped God, and buy cheap and sell dear was the prayer. We must pledge to that rag of a flag and conform, and to those who would question, beware. Hunter Thompson once wrote, we were riding the crest of a high and beautiful wave. But our innocence, foolishness, hopeless ideals meant a vision we just could not save. So the wave finally broke and the waters rolled back. Now I scan the horizon so grave. Seek a sign from the young, will they take up the quest? And I wonder now, where's the next wave? We were raised in the shadow of hydrogen bombs, knew our world could just end in a flash. And maybe it's this that inspired us to seek something more than a fist full of cash. So we threw off conventions, we took to the road, and we challenged the holiest cow. And civil rights passed, and that dirty war stopped, we even made Richard Nixon kowtow. But much deeper than this, we were learning to love. We had found the connectivity to all that existed beneath the wide sky. We were seeking our spirits to free. Hunter Thompson once wrote, we were riding the crest of a high and beautiful wave. But our innocence, foolishness, hopeless ideals meant a vision we just could not save. So the wave finally broke and the waters rolled back. Now I scan the horizon so brave. Seek a sign from the young, will they take up the quest? And I wonder now, where's the next wave? Now the youth of today seem to go for the dough. With a silence it says, we don't care. While the one percent rule and the rest of us slave, yeah, the vibe is decidedly square. See them tattooed and pierced, holding smartphones to tweet little notes to their dear Facebook friends. They appear in a trance while the warning lights burn, and I wonder, is this how the world ends? But with a daycare from birth, missing parents who work, and a brain filled by droning TV, then consigned to a life whose avowed purpose is, like the death camp lie, work sets you free. Putting ancestors down is the mark of a punk, one devoid of compassion and brain. But then dissing the young is what old geezers do. It's an all too familiar refrain. But the 60s began a real process of birth. Now the young need to help it revive. Need to wake up and find there's a lot more to life than to work and conform and survive. Hunter Thompson once wrote, we were riding the crest of a high and beautiful wave. But our innocence, foolishness, hopeless ideals meant a vision we just could not save. Then the wave finally broke, left a high water mark. Now I scan the horizon so grave. Seek a sign from the young, will they take up the quest? And I wonder now, where's the next fucking wave?